Radio Shouty. Now, being on running one of the hottest labels in the game, in history of the game, and then also being a high level exec in a couple of places, what is that like for you being able to maneuver at the top of the game? What is that rare air like up there for those that don't know that's trying to get there? You know, the air is, 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 it's a virus, bro. This shit is corrupted up here, bro. <laughs> Ain't enough brothers up here, bro. They, and they sure ain't making us fucking running this shit. So it's, it's, it's a lot of mental shit you gotta fuck with because you like, you know, you better than half of these people. But then the challenges become not even what you who's the best. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so you dealing with a game that's really twisted, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then you got your brothers pulling you down at the same time. So yeah. it's like, yo, I'm on a different frequency than a lot of brothers. That's because I'm grounded. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, I'm good with everybody. Family, love, kids, baby mamas, everybody. They all got their money. They all good. Everybody good. Yeah. I ain't selfish for nobody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't got no issues. A lot of people run around with issues and they take it out on life. And it's like this game where we're in the rap business where we could actually run it. We can't run it because the brothers is pulling each other down. And then they just like, all right, y'all keep doing that. We're going to do this. Exactly. And so, you know, where, where, where I was at, I was honored to be working with L.A. Reid because yeah. he's he was the last black chairman, as yeah. you see. Um, um, and um, I learned a lot from him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was a man of class, a man of real, real morals. You know what I'm saying? And he taught yeah. me so much shit beyond just, you know, and all. But. You know, it's just that we got to value ourselves and each other more and, and respect the game and kind of lead our own way with, with, with a better path than where we're where we at right now. Question. When you grow up in life thinking to yourself, I got to be the best, the best, the best. And then you rise up through the ranks and you realize that it's not even about being the best no more. How much of a mind fuck is that for you when you realize, OK, now I got to adjust to a whole different game out here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because right now, definitely not about being the best. It's just making shit foolish so it's feel good. So, But honestly, man, I'm still most competitive, man, and that's what this whole album is about because I feel like there's so much whack shit out here. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm better than a lot of this shit that's out here, man, and I got to change that whole – what people are considering good, the guy that's number one right now, that's the biggest rat that flipped on this whole world, and, like, that's where we're headed. And yeah. it's like, nah, bro, why this guy's like, so it's like the balance is not right. And to be competitive and want to be the best is still in me because it keeps that fire lit because I'm watching this versus shit. I'm watching all of these battles. I'm watching all of this. I'm like, all right, are they done? They done? Because, you know, I listen to my man Kendrick album and him talking to Pac. He's saying when they reach their late 30s and 40s, they, they start being done. Yeah, like, why are we done? You know what I'm saying? The chairman of half of these labels is 60 North. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Why are we done? You yep. know what I'm saying? So, you know, I kind of like, I keep that kind of thing. So it's like, it's important, man. It's a good question, too. Man. So now, when you got folks like Takashi that can do what he did and then come right back out with the machine behind them, what goes through your mind now when you think about the future of the culture and the industry with this kind of stuff going on? We don't have the culture no more. The script is not being written by us no more. Because if it was written, being written by us, we wouldn't allow it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we ain't writing this. The, the whole the whole scene is being changed now, bro. It's being written by a whole other party that ain't really with the shit we with. So they going to put this shit in front of the world. So this is what's going to be amplified. Next generation be a bunch of rats, a bunch of people flipping on each other more than this, this generation is doing. You know what I'm saying? And then it's just going to amplify. Then it's, it's just, it's what we create. People teach to teach you how to treat them. So you teaching the media, teaching, oh, this is okay. Okay. Nah, it's not okay. But we ain't writing this scripture no more, man. 